Ten things happen when success get to your head. Ten things happen when success get to your head. Number one, you lose your morals. You become an atheist being. You lose your morals and you become an atheist being. Number two, you lose your manhood and you become a fag. Yes, you lose your manhood and you become a fag. Number three, your money become a god now. Your money become a god now. Number four, you look at memorial as I did it. You like you like the king of Nebuchadnezzar. Say, I build this Babylon. Hey, glory to God. Number fifth reason, you say in the morning, I want more money. You say in the morning, you don't even get on your knees and pray to God, but you say you want more money. Number six reason, you look at materialistic as a system of strength. The more cars you get, the more houses you get, the more jewelry like Rolex and, and more, more boats and more jets you get is like a strength to you. You become like the man in the Bible say, God say, tonight thy soul shall require of thee. You look at the method as an as operation of the Antichrist since you are so-called successful. You looked at yourself as being a Christ. But you become an Antichrist. So-called successful. You are getting more meaner than before. Look at the rich people. They become mean. They spit on, they spit on the poor. Look at the man that was at 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 in in in, in St. John. Glory to God, the sixteenth chapter. Hey, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Luke the sixteenth chapter, verse nineteen and thirty-one. How the Bible say Lazarus was at his gate, and he even helped Lazarus. But the dogs came and licked us to a both men died. And the Bible said both men died, but the table was turned on the rich man. Like the table going to turn on the successful people that look down on poor people. So you become you get more meaner than before. Number 10th reason. The master of your soul become a myth of saying I can see him even though I can't even feel after him. That's the the message of the atheists, they say they can't even see him, they can't even feel him. Where does he exist in the Bible? The creation, hey, glory, DNA, glory to God. You believe General Ford because you see his cars, but Jesus Christ is the creator of the heaven and the earth. He's a creation, hey, glory to God, and he created a creature and he created himself. So 10 things happen when success get to your head. You think that you are God. But you're going to be like King Herod. The Bible say the worms ate him up. Read Acts 12 chapter. you be like King Nebuchadnezzar. Hey, glory to God. He said, I build this Babylon. You're going to be like the king, the grandson, when the writing was on the wall. He, like, like, like. Like, and and he, he was shocked and he, and he called him the magician and he called everybody in and said, I mean it, mean it, tickle your feisty, mean your, your kingdom going to be divided. There's a writing on the wall for successful people that forget about God. My friend, it's time for you to remember God in your riches. It's time for you to remember God in your success. Give God the honor now. My friend, you shouldn't let get success get to your head. God brought you this far. When you was poor, you forget about God. When you was poor now, you remember God. But now you're successful, you don't even think about God. Hey, glory to God. So what I'm saying the message of this meat of the message is, atheists, 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 it's time for you to remember God. Don't let your success get to your head. Amen. God bless you. And remember, God, in your success. I remember God when I was in Jamaica. 
I remember, God, I wanted to came to America. But one day, I remember on 14th Street, I never forget that day, I point to the sky, said, if there's a God, and God knocked me to my knees, and I was sick at the point of death, and God healed me. And the same person that I was going to God there, which she was in the, the funeral possession, my brother died. And she said, are you the same person? Yes, I said, I am the same person because God knocked me to my knees. Because God knew my heart. So I'm saying to you, as watching this video, he glory to God. Don't let success get to your head and forget about God. He glory to God. Remember God in your poverty and remember God in your success. Because God, don't be like the church of Laodicea. They will lay back and they see the glory. And they say, we don't need of nothing. That's why I wrote a book, my friend. I wrote a book. It called, glory to God, the seventh church among us. Because, glory to God, we got to remember God. Hey, glory to God. Remember God right now. While you're in your yacht, while you're in your jet, while you're in your mansion, while you are successful, making beans at gala, it's time for you to remember God. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to my video.